Okay, hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a GUI in MATLAB today and the example I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pre-existing program uh, or a pre-existing M file and basically make a GUI that will communicate with that uh, pre-existing program. So the program I have here is really simple, it's just a uh, multiplication program. So the function uh, in the M file is called multiply, it takes two inputs and it returns the product. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the MATLAB console and I'm going to click new graphical user interface and I'm going to hit blank GUI and then I'm going to define where I want it saved and what I want the file called by clicking this and then I'm going to change this to product.fig now this is also going to create an M file that's called product.m in this same folder. Uh, so that's why I'm not calling it multiply.m like my program because uh, it is going to generate a M file with that same name already. So I'll hit OK. And hitting OK will launch a new M file uh, and then also the guide uh, GUI drag and drop creator tool. So Basically, all the code in this window is going to correspond with the definition. It's basically going to define what we're doing over here. Um, so with my program, uh, since it's taking in two inputs and outputting one value, I'm going to go ahead and make this GUI have two editable text boxes and then one uneditable text field that will display uh, the result and then also a button that allows the user to you know click uh, so that it can display the product so let's go to an edit text so this is a new editable uh, text box now if I double click this along with any other element in the GUI uh, including the panel itself it'll give me this little panel here that has all these different properties that you can edit um, first of all with the edit text fields I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color to white because to me that looks more like an editable text field uh, and then you can also change things like the font size the foreground color which is the font color um, etc and then for the string what it basically what it displays I'm just gonna put input one and then uh, hit enter and there you go so now since I want another one I can right click this and hit duplicate and drag it over here and I'm gonna have this one say input 2 as the string I'm going to make a static text box where the answer will be displayed and I'm going to create a push button that allows the user to you know click it and get the result so I'm gonna change the text on the push button or the string on the push button to say multiply. Now the way we're going to access these fields from our code is uh, basically the entire GUI itself is a data structure uh, called handles and then each for ha handles has all of these elements basically as fields um, and we access them by using this tag here so basically I'm gonna change these to meaningful names uh, change their tags to be a little more meaningful so I can say input one as the tag now from my code anytime I want to access the value any of these really any of these attributes here if I want to access anything here I can do you know the get function I can say get uh, handles dot input one and then I can specify which field I want so we'll go ahead and do that for all the fields that are basically we're going to need to use in our program. Uh, input to so now when I hit save, what it'll do is it'll update this code in this product.m to have all of these functions for each one of these elements. So for every element, for example, the input one, it's going to have a callback and a create function. Don't worry about the create function. Uh, you're not going to need to edit that. 
all of these callback functions, basically the body of these functions is going to define what happens when there's an event on that certain element. So in our case, we don't really care when or how long it takes the user to enter in their inputs. The only thing we care about is when they hit that multiply button, we need to grab the values out of the text fields, uh, turn them into numbers, multiply them, and then display the product in the static text field. So what I'll do is I'll go down to this button callback. Um, and basically, this is where I'm going to define what happens you know, when the user clicks that button. So I'll go back to my other program, the multiply.m, and I'm just going to paste it in to that to product.m. You can probably include it too if if you want. Um, and so I'll put it down here. So this is my basically original program. Uh, and then from this button callback, what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do when the user clicks this button, uh, I'm going to get the two values out of the text fields. So I can say x is equal to get uh, handles dot input one is the first argument. The second argument is the field that we want. We want the string field because uh, that's what the value is going to be. And then we also want this to be a number, so we're going to wrap it in this string to double function. So now we have, we get the string out of the input and then we turn it into a double and we assign it to x. And we're going to do the same thing for y. Which we called, which whose tag was input 2. So now we're going to say product equals x or whoops, you know what, we have that's what our program's for. So we're going to say product is equal to multiply x, y. Now obviously I could just have as easily have just multiplied the two variables x and y here, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just showing you how you can take some existing logic and then incorporate it into, you know, like a a GUI event, like a click or something like that. So now we have product. Now we're going to set this. Uh, we're going to set this text field to display uh, that product. So the user enters a value here, enters a value here, clicks this button, and boom, the answer should show up right here. So for that, we're going to use the set function, and we're, it's pretty much just like the get function, except we're going to include. Uh, the value, so we'll say handles dot, um, and what did we call that one? Let's see, that one was called product. And then we're just going to have the value here, which is uh, product. So we're taking this number and we're setting the string for the product element with the value product. So now I'm going to save it. And if I go here to run, it should pop open that GUI. Um, put three here, I'll put four here, then when I hit multiply, this should say 12. And there you go.